Hello everyone, this is Fanny. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three beautiful DIYs made with twine. As you know, Twine It Up Challenge is happens every month with different co-hosts. And our co-host for this month is Sandra for the DIY Showings Nest. She does amazing projects and I love her. So make sure you go check it out her channel as well. So let's get started with our first DIY. So for the first project, I'm going to be making a large cross. If you haven't been able to find the wire right from Dollar Tree, there is a cross. Here is an idea for you. Super quick and easy and you will love it. So I'm going to start off by cutting the ends of the skewers. As you can see, I cut it like two or three inches uh, on two of them. And then on the third dowel, I cut it on half as well, the pointy part. And then with the third dowel, basically I'm going to be using it to cut the small pieces and I cut four pieces like two inches long. So now I'm going to be using Rustolian stain and give it really light coat on it just to be able to blend it out with the twine later on. So but before that, I'm going to be attaching all the pieces together using high glue. But you can also use wood glue if you prefer. So I have all the pieces together as you can see and now I'm going to be creating the cross just by using hot glue first just to keep it in place. Once I had the cross glue it, now I'm going to be using some twine and cut it in small pieces to add a little knots and reinforce the skewers. Yes, like so. So now we have the shape of our cross and look how cute it looks already. So now I'm going to be using our main iron which is the twine. And basically I'm going to be having fun wrapping around the entire cross. So I started on the bottle so I add some of the hot glue just to keep the first uh, strings of the twine in place. And keep wrapping around until I finish the entire cross. So here I have the bottle part done. Now I'm going to be putting the twine through the dowels on the center and wrap around the entire square inside as you can see and keep going into the top part. So then I'm just going to cut and add a little bit of hot glue and start again with the sizes. So I'm going to be doing individual size just to have better finished look. So here I'm just repeating the same step just by adding some of the hot glue on the beginning just to keep the twine straight and in place and keep going. So once I had the cross completely wrapped, then I went ahead and used the lighter just to burn those little fussy things and get that really nice color that you get when you burn in the twine. Okay, Dollar Tree carries some cute flowers this year and I got those and I'm going to be removing the white part from the stem for now and then I'm going to be using the greenery part as well. So I went ahead and used high glue and started to add the floral part on the middle of the cross just to add some details on it. So once I was happy with the white little branches on the cross, 
I went ahead and grabbed the greenery part as well so I removed it from the stems as you can see and I'm going to be placing it on the cross but before that I'm going to add this cute ribbon that I got on Dollar Tree as well and place it on the cross as you can see so I didn't show it in here but I did add a little that I had glue right on the bottle just to keep the ribbon in place and then I just finished it with the greenery on and I think it looks so cute already and I also add another little branches of the white one just to add more detail to the cross and basically that is it for this one I think it came out absolutely beautiful So for my next DIY, here are the materials and everything is from Dollar Tree as well. And that little box, also this little bunny that I have used before on another DIY. So I'm going to start off by removing the little bow that I have placed before, as you can see. And then I'm going to be using the back of the little bunny. So I'm going to use the twine and basically cutting a lot of small pieces as you can see. So what I did was just the couple loops just like that to be able to cut it on the same size. Then I'm going to be using tacky glue to attach the twine on the bunny. So I'm going to be grabbing two or three strings at the same time, place it down, and I'm going to continue doing that with the entire head. So once I finish the round part, then I'm going to be working with the ear. So once I have glued all the bottom part of the bunny, that's how it looks like. So before to move on to the ears, I'm going to be trimming down the uh, excess of twine and that's how it looks like and look how nice and clean edges. I just love it. So I'm going to be continue doing that with the rest of the bunny. So once I have covered the ears, then I went ahead and trimmed the rest of the twine as well. And look how cute. I just love it. I think it looks so high in, but of course we need some light as well. So once I was done with that, now I'm just going to be adding a little uh, rose that I have around, like like little flower. And I'm just going to place it right on the top and I think it looks so cute so now i'm going to leave the little bunny right on the side for a little bit and going to be working with the box so i'm going to start off by removing the little uh, hanger part on the back and also remove the background just by push it down and slowly and there you have it and also remove the stuff inside of the background so then I just grab the same paper and smoothed out the edges to be able to remove the rest of the glue on it. Then I'm going to be using the drill and I'm going to be drilling some holes on the board, just like so. To be exact, I did 12, but that depends on how many lights has your fairy lights. And then I just send it to smooth it out the surface. Next, I'm going to be using the chalk paint in the color chiffon cream and give it good coat on one side and just light coat on the other side. You will see why. <laughs> so once I had that ready, now I'm going to be placing it back on the frame. So here I was showing that I'm going to be using a piece of paper to cover the back. So next, I'm going to place back on the frame using wood glue and hot glue at the same time. And that's how it looks the little box or frame. 
but as you can see some of the gaps in between so i'm going to use some of the twine and place it around the bags as you can see and we'll cover that and it looks nice So I cut the excess and then I use the lighter just to burn those fussy things. Alright, right on the back of the frame I'm going to be using the fairy lights. So now I'm just going to be adding the little lights in the holes that we did before. But before I'm going to place the little bags right on the bottom using hot glue. So I basically hold the little lights on the hole add a little bit of hot glue on top and just hold it for a little bit and keep going with the rest of the lights and then with the rest of the wire i basically fold it a little bit and place it right on top of the battery box add some hot glue hold it for a little bit and voila now i'm going to be using a piece of paper and i cut it the same side of the frame and then I basically here i just mark it down where i'm going to be cutting to leave the battery bags on cover and then i'm just going to be using some hot glue to attach it on the box and basically that is it for the back of the box and look how nice and clean now i'm just going to be placing the little bunny right on the top and look how cute just by using hot glue but you can also use wood glue if you prefer so i did that place it on it and basically that is it for this one and you have a little lantern or little lamp on it and look how cute i just love it but i always want to know what do you guys think And for my last DIY, here are the materials, some floral, some twine, some ribbons, some mush pot, and also a balloon. So before to start, I'm going to mention that this is a messy project. So make sure you work on the floor and don't do what I did. <laughs> so you will see that in a little bit. So I'm going to start by mixing some water and mud most part and adding some pieces of twine on it and then i'm just going to be have my balloon ready to go so once i have the twine ready i'm going to be just adding a little piece of thing on the bottom just to keep it in place the first part of the twine and then just wrapping around the entire balloon as i mentioned it before this one was a real mess so i move on to the next level and i went to the floor so i make a mess on the floor and then i just hang the little balloon on the ceiling i have a little hook on it so it was easy to keep it on i leave it for a night and then in the morning that's how it looks like then i pop the balloon i take it out and then i'm going to be cutting the front of the balloon so i'm going to try to make a egg so i'm going to cut right as you can see on the from as you can see so I didn't really mark it down basically I did it eyeballing so once I was happy with the from part so now I'm going to be using a cute ribbon from Dollar Tree and basically I'm going to be going around the edges that we just cut to be using a little bit of hot glue and start to place in the ribbon right outside of the edges once i did the outside part now i'm going to be doing the same thing but the inside part of the egg yes like so
so that's how it looks with both ribbon on the edge now i'm going to be using that wire jute the dollar tree carry and i'm going to be basically reinforcing the edges just by waving the wire jute on it just like so And that's how it looks like at this point you can just decorate it however you want it you can just add some lights on it and it will look so pretty but I want to make some little floral arrangement inside so I have some silver burla fabric and I also have some stair foam that I have used before on the previous DIY so I went ahead and add some of the pieces of the burla inside as you can see and then I'm going to be placing the stair foam as well now it's time to add the flowers so dollar tree carries some lavenders and some wild flowers as well so now let's decorate the egg so i'm going to cut the stems of the flowers just to make it easy to place it in i'd like to start with the largest flowers first to have better direction where i can place the little one so yeah I went ahead and did that with the larger wire flowers and then the lavender and some of the greenery. So then I just saw it has some spaces in between, so it has some less over burla. And then I just place it on it to cover those spaces. And basically, that is it for this one. All I'm going to be doing after is just making a cute little bow and place it right on top. That was the last minute, though. So I thought I want to leave it just by itself, but then I have this cute ribbon so i went ahead and make a bow so here i want to apologize because i didn't realize that i have my phone now centered in yeah it's hard to see how i did the bow <laughs> so yeah but uh, what i did was just cut three pieces and make like a simple bow first and then attach all three together and once i have my bow ready then i just place it right on top using a little piece of the wire jute and place it on top and basically that is it for this one and i think it came out absolutely beautiful you can decorate it however you want it using very light you can just add some greenery on top any flowers or just by yourself and i think it looks gorgeous or even a candle inside it will look so pretty so that is it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also go check it out the playlist and get a lot of inspiration god bless you all and see you guys next time ciao ciao